What's going on everybody? This is Kevin from Nokia Innovations and as you can see there is a Nokia Lumia 900 box right there. I have had the fortune of playing with this thing and testing it out for the past couple of days and I just wanted to give you my initial thoughts on it. Here it is. As you can tell I got the Cayenne variation of it. Before I fire this thing up, we're just going to do a quick review of the outside for those of you who are unfamiliar with it. This is the 4.3 inch display. As you can tell, it's a big phone. If I bring in my Lumia 800 by the way of comparison, you can see just how big it is. In fact, the 800, if I can get it all in, almost fits right inside the 900. That's how big of a phone this is. Definitely bigger than anything you're used to. If you've been running Nokia for any length of time and probably bigger than anything you're used to, even if you haven't been running Nokia, in general, four inches is the uh, max size a phone goes these days. So let's dive into it. As you can see up in here, we have the front facing camera which the 800 does not have. You got your Windows buttons down on the bottom. Um, I don't know if you can see it or not, but there is a little bit of an edge on the glass. I don't know why they use that, why they just didn't put it in flush, like the 800 and the N9. I'm assuming it just made the phone just a little bit more um, usable. It just took a little bit of width off of it that you can use the phone with one hand. And surprisingly, for the most part, I have been able to use this phone with one hand. Okay. And then we're going to go to the bottom. And once it focuses in the bottom, you can see there's the speaker grill. Coming up the side, we have the camera button. We have the power backslash lock unlock button and we have the volume button. We have your micro SIM card slot here, your USB port here, and your three and a half millimeter head jack here. And on the back you have your eight megapixel Carl Zeiss camera with your dual LED flash. So we're gonna fire it up. The screen is pretty crisp, it's pretty clear. Um, I found the battery to actually run pretty well. I've been running this phone probably for about a day and a half with very minimal charging and I do have some battery left. I've been playing with it constantly. I've been using it for a Wi-Fi hotspot. I've been using it for music. I've been reading books on my Amazon Kindle. I've been sending emails out through it. So the battery is surprisingly good, which was one of my major concerns um, after the battery problems 800 has have been ha has been having uh, that they fixed. If you want to see a screen comparison, just to see how bright the screen is compared to the 800. At this point, I do have the 800 and the 900 running the same screensaver. I do have to tell you though, to make the 800 look like the 900, I had to put the 800 on maximum brightness and the 900 right now is just running uh, automatic, which means it's probably somewhere about medium and effort to save the battery. And the 800, while it's not a bad screen, it's actually a pretty good screen, is running at its maximum brightness. Um, I'm also running the same teal color scheme on the inside there, so you can just kind of get a look at the differences um, on the way it looks. You can tell right there by the Xbox tile, and you can really tell there on the weather app how yellow that one is and how orange that one is. That's the exact same app. Same applies with the Xbox tile. Uh, the one over here is just a little bit darker. I don't know if that is a problem or uh, effect of the screen itself on both of these phones, or if it's just that I have the brightness turned up so high on the 800. 
Um, that's pretty much all there is for now. Again, I just started playing with this phone for a couple of days, so I can't really give you anything in depth. That's the bad thing. The good thing is that if you have any questions or you need to know or want to know a little more about the 900, that I will be doing a ton more videos for it. And I just started really getting an in-depth look at it. So you can either leave something in the comment section or you can shoot me a tweet. Uh, my Twitter handle is Nokia Knowings. Thanks for watching.